where the ashes of Bill Malloy are located. And they made up a little sign, you can read it, it's both in Rapa Nui and Spanish. Um, and it commemorates his hard work here. He died at 59, and yet he was responsible for restoring this ahu right here on the left. One of his graduate student slaves, Bill Ayers, did the middle one that's over there. And the one with the top knot was done by one of uh, Bill Malloy's friends, Gonzalo Figueroa, who is now deceased. And so this ahu complex, as it is called, and you'll want to go where these people are going down the edge of it because there's a canoe ramp down below. And it's been reconstructed too. <coughs> and there's a cave literally underneath your feet. And the openings to them are right over there on the far right. And so there's a lot to just see in one small area. Bill Malloy um, instigated, literally, the connection of all these ahu and the information. There's a report out on each one of them. So if a person wants to dig into what they really were, that's fine. Now, they don't let us climb on them anymore, which is terrible, I think. Um, and you can see there's an empty pedestal over here on the left. Well, the statue you see being guarded by a wooden fence belongs over there, not here. Um, that ahu is called ahu um, vai uri. Now, vai is water. Uri is black. So what it, what it actually relates to is some of the water that came out at the uh, uh, at low tide. And you'll see where that takes place when we get over there.